So a bit of late night videoing I've had today, or a couple of days ago actually, by Telefib. Uh, the brass wire, 0.45 as you can see, and 0.3 which is pretty damn thin. Um, I don't know what that is in American measurements, 0 0.3 of a millimetre. Uh, two millimeter phosphor bronze pickup. I bought well the copper, sorry the brass strip was no more money, about the same price as bronze, phosphor bronze. Well, if I use phosphor bronze, I can, you know, use this for power pickups on coaches and for lighting and etc. Um, if I use the brass, not as suitable. So I bought this. Again, for the uh, American tank wagons. So uh, this may be trimmed down and angled. Unless I can find some very fine small angle. But this lot cost me £14.25. Not £5.50 a pack, £4.50 a pack, £3.50 a pack. Then the shipping. Uh, that's cost me more to buy this than the wagons have that I'm going to repair. They stand me, well, £5.50 and £3.27 I think they were. Looks like they've done a little work on them to make them look more like the Acura scale ones. The uh, I think they're JHAs instead of PTAs. They've put the uh, strips on the back um, because what happened, the actual ones were had some design flaws and they beefed them up um, so yeah they've done that and they've also put some form of KD they've cut the chassis away um, and for all this effort and then they can't use a bit of bloody glue on the weight so yeah they've cut the chassis framing away because that's normally sat recessed um, so Looks like they might have raised the chassis. I'll have to compare it against another one. Um, and they've put some very small, I don't know what fittings they are. They don't swing very easily. They've cut the trip pin right off. But I should say they've made these to run with the Akira Scout ones. Um, which I don't own. Um, I nearly did buy them, but they went out of sale fairly rapidly. What were they? £149 a set, and you needed three sets. Yeah, it's a bit expensive for me. So, yeah, they have been done. So, they're going to sit higher. That one's shifted, is it? I don't know. Yeah, they'll need a little bit of a look at. Oh, a little bit more detailing on that one. But, um, what is that? No, that's not a lemur one, that is a kit. I don't know what all that is. 102 tons of a slag. That looks like one of the kit ones. Um, the hell's that? There's a capsule case for a pill. <laughs> I presume they've used that as a tank, air tank. They've glued it on there as an air tank. <laughs> yeah. Don't swallow your tablet. Yeah, that's been there, and then whatever that's supposed to be. There. I don't know. Hmm. Well, end of the week mailbag arrivals. Some of my MGRs I've been trying to find. I haven't been to any shows. They sort of bi-monthly. Uh, I missed the last one. Um, but they, they, they're a bit thin on the ground even at the shows and uh, toy fairs. So I reluctantly just started looking on eBay. Um, bearing in mind that I don't like to pay more than £7. I'd probably go for £8 for a nice conditioned one in a box if it's tidy. But um, these came up, although I don't normally go for these ones because these are the later rebranded 
English, Welsh and Scottish EWS which is in existence after the period I'm sort of aiming at modelling. Now you can buy a replacement cradle um, but given that these were coal wagons and basically you didn't see much anyway um, the EWS is actually sort of melted, embossed into the plastic cradle there so I'm going to, if it needs it, fill it paint it over and just heavily weather these to hide that fact but you can buy the cradles from Peter Spears but um, I've just had a go at trying to get the hopper from the frame to get to this bit and um, probably end up breaking it trying to get it out it's um, well in there shall we say but they cost me £26 and I'd well obviously £7, £21 I'd normally pay for free um, maybe £24 at a push but then given that I've got to travel to the fair, travel back, there's, you know, fuel money and an entrance fee. I sort of weighed up the pros and cons and bit the bullet and actually won these ones. I wasn't going to go any higher than that. So uh, I, I managed to add three more to the collection. There's another two on the way which I got for £8, which is sort of <laughs> two for one. So, uh, yeah, not bad. And they're quite tidy. They've been used. There's a bit wear on the wheels but um, they look like they've just been uh, trundling around someone's layout so yeah I can sort of live with paying that much occasionally and cheaper would be better but um, yeah the world we live in doesn't allow for that unfortunately on well, my quest for a warehouse modernish has led me back to um, the Pico one which is in here from D-Rails so here it is, that's the completed kit um, and that's the extension at the back and uh, they're the various pieces you can buy if you recall from my Hatton's uh, unboxing last few weeks ago I bought these cheap along with the roller shutter variant and this is the extension piece, I think this was about £12 they haven't sent me an invoice in the box this is ooh, 27 it cost me about 34 pound all in and it was going to be 40 odd at rails at Sheffield and with D rails if you order more than 25 quids worth of stuff is free shipping and they don't overcharge for a lot of items you'd think you know free shipping they're gonna lamp it on somewhere which I guess they do but this was a little bit dearer than it was somewhere else but you know with the two combined uh, they were the cheapest place um, there was another place but obviously you got postage on top so it knocks it out of the running so you can do it the two half side by side and do a low relief uh, like that or a complete warehouse or you can buy another kit and obviously double up which is, mm, I might do it's going to be because uh, this is like 34 quids worth so you got to spend another £27 to get this again but there's nothing else this size unless I scratch built something uh, so that was that from D-Rails and the other one was uh, Scenic 3D who I've used quite a bit and West Hill Wagon Works which again I've used them but this was something, something someone selling off their bits which I got for £14.3p with the shipping which, well, I don't know what they charge for these now a <laughs> pillar drill is pretty hard to see but I think last time I bought one of these it was a quid I don't know what they are now but um, I think they're more than that then there's uh, this coupling uh, probably no good to me The intermodal wheel sets are just a cradle basically I think is what they are um, some shelving this is, I can't remember what they are, 4 95 a pack or something there was one in, bit in here that's £7.95 at West Hill uh, so we've got a couple of workbench saw and a lathe nearly as old as my one um, We've got yeah, two pallet trucks, 
and a couple of smaller compressors which are still intact with a little fine detail with the fan belt and drive wheel and the motor and some scenic 3D items which are some modern petrol pumps and some modern post boxes which uh, obviously the post boxes, well I don't know I'll give them away or sell them or something because obviously they're not going to fit in with the era that I'm doing and obviously a petrol station price board uh, which I don't think is I think it's a solid piece yet so yeah although it doesn't look a lot for 14 quid these parts to buy would cost probably double that so there's a few bits in there I want, a few bits that are surplus or I can probably find a use for and some that I won't so you know you never know might give a few away if I ever get to a thousand <laughs> well last two for the week well they've turned up late actually but um at Hermes for you these were the cheap ones only cost me £8.50 which is probably just as well but yeah coupling got to go on there either bolt or rivet a new one on or a Vectis NEM type pocket replacement the other one similar sort of thing they've trimmed that one back so maybe they were thinking of doing a KD or something but uh, yeah I might need a little bit of work with that one or try and look for a scrapper and it looks like whatever glue they used in here to glue the overscale and overweight cool load has um, reacted with the plastic of the hopper and uh, it's, it's hard it's not but uh, yeah it looks a bit I missed that on the photograph but I got them cheap anyway so it's not the end of the world and uh, a bit of heavy weathering I don't think you really take much notice of it might have to put another wheel on it that looks a bit rough might uh, re-wheel it. I'm after some plastic ones actually because I've got some metal ones I can swap over on some other rolling stock so if anyone's put a load of metal wheels on their stock and uh, got a surplus of old plastic ones even them awful Hornby white wheel things I will be interested <laughs>